dear students welcome to the online bridge course classes students in previous video i already discussed what is chemistry and what are the branches of chemistry in this video i am going to discuss some more basic points related to the chemistry so my first point is what is the use of studying this chemistry why we study the chemistry students chemistry is everywhere in the world around you chemistry is everywhere in the world around you it is in the food it is in the food you eat clothes you wear water you drink medicines air is it right yes whatever you take it involves chemistry because of this point chemistry sometimes it is called as central science because it connects other sciences to each other such as biology physics geology and environmental science etc students your entire body is made up of chemicals whatever you see whatever you eat it involves chemistry and this chemistry helps you to understand the world around you why do leaves change the color in fall why are plants in green color what is involved in soaps and how does it clean these are these are all questions that can be answered by applying chemistry because of these points chemistry has its own important roles basic knowledge of this chemistry helps you to read and understand the product labels students remember chemistry is fun there are lots of interesting chemistry projects you can do using common everyday materials next i think already you know chemistry is the science that deals with the composition and the properties of substances chemistry the science that deals with the composition and the properties of the substance and various elementary forms of matter and it is also a living material bio chemistry it involves a chemistry of living material is yes, now i take another concept that is related to matter and the energy i think in sslc classes already you know what is matter and what are the states of matter students we know matter means anything that has mass and occupied space it is in every way chemistry studies the nature of matter chemistry it is the branch of science which deals with the study of matter now the three states of matter what are the three states of matter one is solid another one is liquid and definitely another one is gas 
how you define these terms in your previous classes just recall the points what is solid the substance which has definite shape and definite value the substance which has definite shape and definite volume is called solids in presence of solids the atoms are very tightly arranged therefore they cannot move now give an example for solids yes stone next duster etc next how you define the term liquid liquid it is the substance they do not contain definite shape but there is a definite value substance which do not contain definite shape but they contain definite value and liquids gets the shape by the container next another state of matter that is gas the substance which contain neither definite shape nor volume students in presence of liquids the arrangement of atoms the arrangement of atoms is loosely arranged because of loosely arrangement of atoms the liquids can flow but in presence of gaseous state or gas the atoms are randomly arranged because of that type of arrangement of atoms the gaseous molecules are move around they expand in available spaces as in presence of solids the atoms are tightly arranged in presence of liquid loosely arranged and in presence of gaseous state the atoms are they are randomly arranged remember the three states of matter and how we define the terms yes next point three states of body matter Yes, if I ask you one question, give an example for solids related to body matter. Then, solid example bones, teeth, and liquids, blood and urine. example for gas or air digestive by products etc see these structures here in presence of solids the atoms are tightly arranged therefore it contain definite shape and volume as in presence of liquids compared to solids here the atoms are loosely arranged and in presence of gases the atoms are arranged randomly 
स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट आई टेक अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट एलिमेंट्स बिकॉज ऑल दीज आर कम्स अंडर बेसिक पॉइंट्स एलिमेंट वट इज एलिमेंट द सब्सटेंस दैट कैन नॉट बी ब्रोकन डाउन इन टू सिंपल सब्सटेंसेस means element it is the substance that cannot be broken down into smaller parts students in periodic table a number of elements are present the detail study of these elements in the periodic table we will see later first you remember what is an element a substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substance the detailed study of uh, these elements we will see later now come to the point of periodic table what is periodic table a complete listing of all the elements appear in the periodic table means periodic table it contains all the elements there are different type of elements present in periodic table the modern periodic table was de developed in 1869 by russian scientist named dmitry mendeleev remember this one is very important the basic point Dmitry Mendeleev he developed the modern periodic table now it is also a modern table modern periodic table is used and here the elements are arranged according to the atomic number or by increase the increasing in atomic number the elements are arranged in a periodic table you see here here different type of groups present in periodic table and it involves 18 groups in the periodic table as next periodic table basics students when you observe the periodic table in that a vertical column is called a group or a family a vertical column present in a periodic table is called by the name group remember if you consider a particular group usually contain same number of valence electrons i think you already know what are valence electrons valence electrons are the electrons present in the valence cell or outer most cell the electrons present in last cell or outer most cell are called valence electrons these number of valence electrons is same for similar group elements next a horizontal row is called a period or a series usually these periods shows similarities in ionization and activation energy what is ionization energy what is activation energy we'll see later but now you only concentrate on topic what is group and what is period a vertical column present in the periodic table is called group and the horizontal rows are called by the name periods or series next on the left hand side there are metals as when we observe the left and side of the periodic table usually the elements are metals they are solids shiny good conductors of heat and electricity 
the elements which are present on left side of the periodic table usually they are metals metals have some properties like shiny good conductors of heat and electricity usually they are solids when we observe the right hand side of the periodic table the elements are non metals when we observe the right hand side of the periodic table where the elements are present they are non metals between these metals and non metals between the metals and non metals the metalloids are observed in the periodic table as what are metals what are non metals and what are metalloids we will see later but now you remember only where the metals are present in periodic table where the non metals are present and where the metalloids are appeared in the periodic table metals are left hand side of the periodic table non metals are right hand side of the periodic table between these metals and non metals the metalloids are takes place as students remember here i take some elements with symbol as aluminium element its symbol is al bromine br calcium ca fluorine f gold eu hydrogen h iron fe magnesium mg nitrogen n oxygen o s now another concept put elements remember students an element is made up of only one type of atom as hydrogen it is made up of one type of atom oxygen it is also an element it is made up of one type of atom an atom is a smallest particle which can only be seen using a special microscope how you define the term atom an atom is a smallest particle which can neither be created nor be destroyed the smallest amount of an element you can have is one atom okay students in the next video i take another concept to discuss about the periodic table the detailed study of periodic table we will see later thank you